Hey, it's Chris from Funset Guys, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the var dump function. Now, I've gone ahead and created a var underscore dump .php, and I've just created a little bit of content up here. Um, we'll, we'll comment these out in a second. So, basically, the var dump function is a um, it's a it's a function, obviously, um, which basically it it dumps a lot of information based on any given or it's z given. Um, variable. So um, you type it like this so far underscore dump. Then you've got the parentheses where you want to pass something into this, uh, in, into the function. So I want to pass the information from name into the var dump. So I'm just going to put name in here. Um, I'm going to save this. And what I'm expecting to see is a, a detailed output of the values and um, the type of. Um, Variable that I've, I've passed in. So in this instance, I've passed in some um, s some string data. It's five characters long. Um, so I'm expecting to see the fact that it's a string. It's five characters long, and the value of it, which is um, in this case Chris. So I want to come across to var dump, load my page, and as you can see, it's given us a string, five characters long, and it said the value of this is Chris. Now not, this seems fairly. Um, you know, basic at the moment, you know, because of, obviously we know this is uh, a string of Chris, but when you work with, you know, so, um, uh, I don't know, let's say a global, uh, super global of, you know, post or, or get, then you want to dump all of the information onto the page and you can see, as I say, a detailed view of the, um, the values and uh, the type of uh, information that you're working with. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and comment out age just to uh, prove a concept. So age. So what in this instance we're expecting to see um, two characters long and it's an integer and obviously the value is 27. So I'll come over to my page, reload and integer and 27. Now um, what I've done is I've just created a quick um, array here. So it's an array of fruit, grapes, bananas and then I've got a further array. So red apple and green apple. So I'm just going to go ahead and dump this information root onto the page, reload this page and if I just do inspect, uh, for, sorry, view source, you can see that it's dumped an array, so it's saying right that you are working with an array at the moment, so we've got an array, it's got three, um, three items, so we've got 0, 1 and 2, so um, for those of you that don't know, um, arrays always start with 0 unless specified otherwise, um, and then um, within that array, we have a string of six characters, and it's grapes. A string of seven characters, bananas. And then it's told us, oh, hang on, we've got another array. So you're working with an array again, with two elements. It starts with zero, one, and then obviously, again, it's telling us what they are. Now, if I went ahead and just appended something onto the end of this, so let's just say an integer. Now, no, 22 is not a fruit. However, just to show you, refresh this page. It's just added that on. We've got an integer and it's 22. And that's basically the, the far dump. Um, this is brilliant for debugging. So this is something that you're go going to want to remember and we will most definitely be using um, further down the line. So as I say, um, just to write it, it's far underscore dump, um, parentheses and whatever variable you want to dump and then terminate your line. And that's it. Okay, um, I'm going to move swiftly on to another video. So thanks for watching and uh, I hope you catch me in the next one. Cheers. Goodbye.